Okay, so today we're going to be introducing inheritance. So what I'm going to do is make it another class and I call this class uh, zombie. Um, and the zombie is going to have a lot of the same stuff as person. So he doesn't want to stab, that's not what zombies do. But this would be the same. So put this in here and this would be the same. Okay, so that's all good with copying and pasted. It's not a good idea in program to ever copy and paste unless you're changing something and it's not going to be the same. Let's say if you wanted to add a skeleton, you have to copy and paste all this and put it in skeleton. There's an easier way of doing this. What you do, you add another class and this class will have some basic things and then both classes will inherit them basic things and they can add their own extra little things to it. So we'll call this class humanoid. Uh, like that. So then what we do, we get everything that both of them will have in common or all of them if you had a third one and then you can get rid of it from zombie and then you would say um, inherits humanoid and then person uh, inherits humanoid and that will work. So we can get rid of this um, we might have some problems with max health, uh, but we can sort that out in a second. Okay, what we're going to do is make this not constant because it's going to be different between both of them, um, and not make it equal here. Um, so then we'll say we'll pass in max health. So bival mh as short and then would we'll say max health is equal to mh and health is equal to mh it doesn't really matter I could do either so we're going to pass it in like that so I can actually delete this now and person let's see what I'm going to have to do some editing so that can go max health here we need to make this public uh, what else do we need to do? Display health, I can get rid of this because that's in the inherited class. Um, I don't need to do this because that's in the other constructor. What I will need to do is bival... no I won't need to do that. I'm going to put it in there. So let's make a constructor for the zombie. So sub new um, bival n as name uh, string. Okay, so that's constructor there. Now you see both constructors are erroring. This is because we haven't called the parent constructor. This is known as the parent class, and these are known as the child classes, because child children inherit things from the parents. So what we can do, we don't want to make people allow people to make an object of humanoid. We want to make specify either zombie or person, not humanoid. So what we can say is public must inherit class humanoid. So this means you can't make an object of that class. Um, anyway, so what we need to do to get rid of this error is we need to call the constructor of the parent. So you, to do that you just put my base dot new. Then you, that has a parameter. It will have two in fact. We pass in n which and then we set 100 in because we don't need to pass that in because it's constant throughout all the people of start with 100. Whereas names vary, which is why we need to get that from the module. Um, same with zombie. So my base dot new. Pass in n, and then we'll pass in 80 as their health. So that will work like that. And I think that should all work. One extra thing I want to do on the zombie, I want to say um, name is equal to zombie and name just to show that it's a zombie um, so I'm just going to do that after it's set the name to the parameter do that okay so let's make an array for the zombies so dim z array as zombie is equal to uh, new zombie I call this zombie uh, Lizzie like that I'm going to have one for now but it's nice to have it as a, as a format that you can add to later. 
So we need to loop through all the people. We then need to loop through all the zombies. So for uh, i is equal to 0 to z dot length minus 1. So that'll loop through all the zombies, so do it once at the minute. So then you're just going to say, um, need to give zombie an attack. So sub brains by val, no, by ref h as short. And the reason I'm using short, by the way, I forgot to say, is because it uses less resources and you don't need to use an integer. When making games and stuff like that, you should try and use as least resources as needed. Um, so you say, um, so constant uh, brains dam equals uh, probably stronger than the stab twenty. Actually, no, it's just retarded. Eight. Um, so h minus equals brains dam. I mean, I don't know about this whole brains damage. The zombie's not exactly going to break your skull, is he? He's weak. Uh, depends what kind of zombie. I'm not gonna get into zombie. So what types of zombies there are. So then you'd just say Z position I dot brains, and that should work. Um, we want to go through and attack every person. So for J is equal to zero to P dot length minus one. Then you'd say Z position I dot brains uh, pass in P position J so we're going to go through and brains every uh, dot health so we don't want people attacking each other anymore that's why this was kind of pointless so again in here we want to attack every zombie so 4 J is equal to 0 to uh, Z dot length minus one um, p position i dot stab uh, z position j z dot health okay that should work um, okay so displaying health this is another thing I want to get to um, we don't have to loop through all the players and loop through all the zombies because they actually have the same uh, sub in both of them. So what we can do, we can actually make an array of uh, humanoids. So array h array as humanoid. Uh, although we can't in, uh, make an object that says must inherit, we can still make, I'm going to say template again, uh, we can still make a template of that uh, and then have an array. So that's good. So then here you would say position p0, p1, and z0. Again, if this was to be more efficient, then you would use a loop. But considering there's only three, there's no need. Uh, but yeah, you'd use a loop to go through all the people, add them in, and then go through all the zombies, and add them in. So then the only reason I'm going to use this human eye is so we can say, uh, put, and then put hue. Hume, and then you just play uh, Hume. So this should work. Uh, so type S to stab, uh, John forgot or something. And Lizzie's health has gone down. Oh no, sorry, it's out of 80. My bad. Yeah, it's out of 80. So that's been one stabbing, which is what we inputted here S. And you see zombie uh, dash Lizzie.